It was Judgment Day in Aggie Land, and tenseness filled the air. All knew there was a trip at hand, but not a soul knew where. Assembled on the drill field was the world-renowned 12th man, the entire fighting Aggie team and the famous Aggie band. And out in front where Royal Guard reviewing party stood, St. Peter and his angel staff were choosing bad from good. First he surveyed the Aggie team, and in terms of an angel swore, By Jove, I do believe I've seen this gallant group before. I've seen them play since way back when, and they've always had to grit. I've seen them lose, I've seen them win, but I've never seen them quit. No need for us to tarry here deciding on their fates. It's plain as the halo on my head that they've opened heaven's gates. And when the twelfth man heard this, they let forth a mighty yell. That echoed clear to heaven and shook the gates of hell. Well, what group is this upon the side, St. Peter asked his aide, that swelled as if to burst with pride when we are judgment made. Well, sir, that's cadet corps that's known both far and wide for backing up their fighting team, whether they won or lost or tied. Well, then, said St. Peter, it's very plain to me that within the realms of heaven, they should spend eternity. And have the Texas Aggie band at once commence to play, for their face too we must decide upon this crucial day. And the drum major so hearing slowly raised his hand and said, Boys, let's play the spirit for the last time in Aggie land. And the band poured forth the anthem in tones both bright and clear, and 10,000 Aggie voices sang the song they hold so dear. And when the band had finished, St. Peter wiped his eyes and said, It's not hard to see they're meant for paradise. And the colonel of the cadet corps said as he stiffly took his stand, Just another corps trip, boys. We march in behind the band.